Only two teams left. Yeah, we haven't listed either of them. So either we, we wild snubbed them. Or... Right. Yeah. That'd be. We would have to shut this podcast down if either of us don't have the same yeah. two teams. And to me personally, I don't. The order to me doesn't really matter. Um. So what is your number two? My number two is the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay. 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 All right. What do you you right. have? Do you have the Thunder at two? I have the Rockets at two. Oh, okay. You <laughs> got a flip flop. Right. Okay. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why, why do you have the Rockets at two? I have the Rockets at two, and when I tell you this one was so hard right here, this one to me was so hard, and honestly, the only reason why I have the 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 Thunder ahead of the Rockets is because the Thunder have the overall best player, like mm-hmm. that's it, like Shea to me. I mean, not even to me. Like he's obviously is just the best player out of those two teams. Yeah. So, and he's first team All NBA. Like he's easily the best player out of those two teams. Like superstar level already. And I think um, Jalen Green has potential to reach that. I think Amen Thompson has potential to reach that. I think like the Rockets have players that are capable of reaching that level. But I think the fact that Shea is there right now, and he's still so young, like he can easily get better. That's the reason why I have OKC ahead of them. But mm-hmm. um, the Rockets. We talked about perfect mix between young players and like, or as far as like, the the talent level of the young players and how many is on the roster. They have they almost have too many on the roster, bro. And they just like, consolidated and traded some of them away for like nothing. Yeah, and still just, are this deep, bro. It's it's crazy. What you, Jalen Green you got Shingun, Tari Eason, Amen Thompson, Jabari Smith. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? I, and I know Cam I'm missing Whitmore, people. Kevin Cam Porter Whitmore, Kevin Porter Jr. Like, bro, like that's a lot of people. And it's like, I think I talk, I touched on this before. It's like, bro, you can't miss on all those guys. Somebody's gonna be a superstar. <laughs> like, it's yeah. just, it, it's just probability. Somebody's you might gonna have be a superstar. more than one. But the way Jabari Smith was just looking, the way Jabari Smith was looking, you got Jalen Green still there. The way Amen Thompson was looking, just in his one game, um, in summer league, it's like, bro, these. They have, the potential is is limitless, bro. The potential is insane. This is my rationale for why I put Houston ahead of, of the Thunder. So I was looking at it. I completely agree, right? Shea is the – like, we're just looking at these two teams. Shea is outright the best player here. When I look at the Thunder, you have Shea. You have Chet. You have J-Dub. You got Giddy. Then, to me, we hit a little bit of a – a little bit of a drop off, right? You get into guys like Trey Mann, Casey Wallace, uh, Jalen Williams, you know, mm-hmm. J A Y, and then Usman Jang. When I look at this Rockets core, like you listed it right, Jalen Green, Jabari, Amen Thompson, Cam Whitmore, uh, Tari Eason, Alperen Shangun, Kevin Porter Jr. Not only are all of these guys young and can continue to develop, like, all of them have shown me something, like, already. Like, Usman is still pretty raw. Kaysen Wallace, um, you know, he's had a really good summer league. Jalen Williams has had, you know, was able to play for them a good bit. But, like, when I think about, like, Alperin Shangun is probably third, fourth best player here. And it's like, I think Alperin Shangun can for real, like, become a Sabonis level type player in terms of, like, mm-hmm his ability to play make as a big man. And supposedly he's getting taller. I can't I need to see these official measurements Bro, that come out. Yeah. Rockets Twitter have me believing he's about to come in the year being seven three. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently he's he was on some like Turkish podcast or something and he basically said he grew like X amount of centimeters, but it was like almost an inch taller. Um and so he like almost might be a legit seven footer. Um but it's like, I'm thinking of it, okay, it's like, you've got Jalen Green, right? You've got Amin Thompson, you've got Jabari, and so you have Al Perrin. It's like, if we're getting this deep, and I'm still thinking, like, bro, some of these guys can, like, to me, like, watching them have the potential to reach those levels, that that depth and that potential, like, that deep to me mm-hmm. is why I put them ahead of OKC. Because like I said, look, Shea, Chet, J-Dub, Giddy, off rip, like, all of them proven in the NBA. All of them have tons of potential. Um, but it's like, bro, I just I can't imagine a world right now where it's like 
bro, Cam Whitmore is going to be what? He's not even going to start for this team. Nah. It's like, that is crazy. Like, honestly, you put together this young core in a starting lineup. Cam Whitmore might not even start for the young <laughs> core here. Like, for real. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, y'all are that deep with talent. Uh, so it's like, when you got to nitpick that, you know, that close between these two teams, that's why I ultimately ended up putting the Rockets ahead um, of the Thunder here. But, bro, this, like, both of these young cores, like, I, I feel like, have we ever seen this much young talent on a team? Like, in the NBA as a whole is one thing, but it feels like, bro, both of these teams, like, y'all have so, like, you see, this is almost your whole roster. Yeah, like, basically. For the Rockets, it's like, outside of this, it's just like, okay, we have Fred. Freddie, Dylan. Dylan Brooks, Jeff Green. Right, not really going to play. So it's like, you, right. you, <laughs> it's like, you really just add Fred and Dylan. It's like, that's right. the whole Rockets roster. For the Thunder, like, this is most of the key players that you're adding in, like, Jeremiah Robinson Earl and Cambridge Williams, right? And it's like, these are the guys. Like, your mm-hmm. your team team is also the your young, young core. core. Yeah, like, facts. <laughs> that is crazy. Facts. Um, no, nah, I, I, listen, you're not going to get an argument out of me, bro. Like, like I said, it was back and forth. It, it was nitpicking. Like, that was the only, Shea was literally the only reason why I put them over them. Because, like you said, the Rockets are just so deep and Pretty much all of them have potential to reach like minimum like all star level players basically. So it was insane. Honestly, it was insane. And actually, now that I look at it too, OKC and the Rockets are actually two and three. The number one is the Lakers with Austin Yo. Reeves, <laughs> Rui Hachimura. I just feel like the superstar potential over there. Max Christie. Max Christie. Like, and LeBron is still young. He's only twenty three. <laughs> like the superstar <laughs> potential is just crazy over here. So, you know, that's my that's my own number one. So we're about to, to end the episode right 